Hello guys and welcome again to a new Python programming video and today we will be programming a script in Python that will change the background wallpaper from a website. This website is wallpaperscraft.com and it has a, v a great variety of wallpapers from um, in a variety of categories and you can even choose the right resolution for you. This is what what makes what made me choose this website to crawl it today. So, how this program will work? This program will enter this website, get the source code, and check in for the the images, and then download the image and replace this file, which is which is the current the current background image, and then it will change the whole background. So, let's start first. We have to import the libraries we will need. We will need requests and re, it's a regex library, and then choose the URL. So the URL will be, as you can clearly see, the, the last part defines the category. So if we copy this, this the URL, we can simply change the category from the URL. Sorry. We can simply choose the category from the URL. So if I if I return here, copy the URL and and paste it in here, I can remove the last part and add it after. So uh, I will I will create a variable called the category. It will be a row input, and you will ask the user to enter the category. So. Uh, it's that simple, we just add the category at, at the end of this URL. But no, everything has a little thing that make it very, uh, to make it a little bit hard to do, is that for the page two, you have this added. I will go to nature and go to page two. You know, page two has this added to it, and page one, no. If you write one here, it will not work, which means that there are two conditions. If the page is equal to one, this is the URL. But else, sorry, uh, uh, else, this would be the URL. It's this one. URL is equal to the same one, but there is something added at the end, which is the page number. So we will define now the page number, which is page is equal to one for the first page, and we will increment it after. So the URL should be like this: HTTP, WordPress Craft, Catalog, and then plus the category, plus a slash forward slash plus the page so the page is an integer value we need to to make it a string and then add it at the end so it's not here because the first page only has the category at the end it will be added here just the first one but what's added is this string that contains the page number slash page and page number so let's just make this in a function let's define get img url which will get a page and let's just match the indentation of everything here and let's continue so what the script needs to do now it needs to enter the web page and extract the source code so let's define a variable called source code it will get it will contain the source code that is that we've got from the website how you get it is using the requests library request.get url and from the url we, we get the, the whole web page and there are a lot of things that we don't need but we just we just need the text which is the pure source code now that we have the source code i would just print it to display uh, if it works or not source code 
so source code and let's call this get img url function at the end so if we open the terminal we would just change the directory to desktop sorry to desktop and let's open let's run the file the script there is an error here plus category uh, and I missed a plus here every other thing works fine now we choose the category so it will be nature just for the text takes exactly one argument so we need to call it and to pass in the page sorry I forgot this category should be nature now we have the wall JavaScript Python uh, the word JavaScript and HTML code for the web page so let's clear this and what we need to look in for if we take for example any image of those and we inspect it with the browser we should be we should be able to see the HTML code and the URL of the image itself and how to get it so for us to get it we will use the second um, the second library that we imported which is the regex so if we see all the images have the same in the same uh, form which is the img tag and this url which which is um, which is very similar for all the images so we need to define a regex re.compile it will make us able to search easily uh, in the regex in the in the html code it should be it should we should give it a raw uh, string containing this so which is the, we, where is the part that does not change this one clearly changes because it has the title of the image and the id so it's this one that we we'll, we will be looking for plus this tag this uh, object so we will need all we will remove all this so with this this rejects will look for everything that is between this img source and this 300 by 188.jpg which is exactly this from here from here to before the resolution so uh, how do how do you search for it in the in the source code we will add a variable called results which will be equal to rejects dot find all find all in the source code so the results that we've got we have uh, the results that we get are the exact URL of each images all of them assembled in an array we will print it just to display how this information is organized let's go again to the terminal run the code nature again and as we see we have plenty of URLs and if you want to test if we have all the images there are exactly 15 images in this web page so we should get 15 URLs let's print the length of this um, of this variable and we should get 15 and as you see we have we have 15 okay that means it's working so we just have to return this uh, results and the other the other uh, the other work which is replacing the image will be done by another variable the, another um, function that we will define now the function will be called change and it will uh, get the images from this function and go through them through the URLs and replace the image that we already have in our desktop so uh, this uh, I, I will just get this one to be able to see it let's get it here it's this one that that we want now oh sorry it's this image that we want to replace now with the image that we want we want to download so first we have to define a variable a variable called uh, 
links it's equal to get image uh, get image URL of the page get all the image URLs of the page it's exactly what is returned by this function which is results so uh, now we have to go through all those links for I in links we should be able to open the file let's call this my img is equal to open this uh, it's at in the same folder wlp.jpg but write it in a special uh, open it in a special mode which is the right binary mode let's save this and what we need to do now is to download the image so the content the image content will be equal to requests dot get the image you uh, we should pass in the image URL which is I but it's not completely I because there are some things missing like the HTML column and and the, at the end the resolution of the image and the extension so we will add here not a string HTTP column plus and plus at the end the resolution which will be added here in a variable resolution it is equal for me it's equal to 1280 by 800 pixels so we will add it at the end plus the resolution and plus the dot jpeg which is the extension of the image all the images have the exact same extension but we don't want the web page with all the headers and the source code we just want the content of this web website of this link which is the image itself so now we got the image we need to change the file we have so my img dot write the content now we've written the content and it will now change but uh, as this code goes on and on it will change the image every time for for example it will go through the first link it's the first image in the page change the image the background will change and then go to do to the other one the second one but we want an interval between every image and other image so we'll import another library which is time so now we've imported time we have to say to the time to sleep maybe for five seconds just for a test now let's call the change function okay let's go again to the terminal and let's test it so it will be able to go through the images and change the background the category should be nature let's test it i hope it works The code has no errors maybe the global name content is not defined uh, it's my uh, it's an error it's my it's IMG content let's clear this and now it will certainly work nature is it now working um, set this as a wallpaper let's just change the desktop background close this close clear and set this image as the background so we will choose it it's an image this image is in the desktop WLP choose this one okay now the script should go smoothly and change this for us nature yes it changes as we see that's the first image after five seconds second image five other seconds and the third image now it's working but there is another issue that you can't see uh, if you 
you can only see if you let it the script go for some minutes until it 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 um, displays all the 15 images in the first page so it can't go to the second page how do we solve this problem so it's not really a problem but we have to solve it to make to make this program fully functional so we have the page the page uh, the page uh, variable that we have to increment each time so to be able to increment it inside this variable uh, inside this function we should make it a global variable global page and uh, also here global page so and this should run in a loop so while true to be able to run it every time without stopping while true because true is always true then what what this should do is increment the page by one page plus equals one so now it will go to the second page the third page the fourth page every time it ended all those 15 images in this page so if we test it again let's click let's begin this time from the second from the second page just to test if the syntax of the other pages work um, and change maybe to abstract to anime maybe this time let's say it's it's working fine yes it's high quality 10 uh, 1280 by 800 so just to precise that the image the resolution you choose in the file the resolution you choose in the code should be equal to the, to the resolution that is actually in this image or else there will be some bugs and some problems the image will stay black and won't appear so this is our script thank you for watching please don't forget to punch that like button and the subscribe button and press the bell icon to, to receive more notifications don't forget also to suggest new videos in the comments